mirror mirror on the wall who is the fairest of them all that mirror in the story of snow white was surely magical but mirrors in real life are also special have you ever wondered what is the color of a mirror the color of a mirror obviously depends upon its surroundings the color of an object which you view in the mirror becomes its color this means that a mirror simply keeps changing its color according to the objects viewed in it but most other objects normally don't do so then what is it that makes mirrors so different to answer this question we first need to understand what is a color and what makes things colorful objects by themselves have no color they simply reflect light falling on them white light consists of all the colors or wavelengths in the visible spectrum when a white light falls on an object it reflects some wavelengths and absorbs the rest the color corresponding to those reflected wavelengths becomes the color of that object for example a blue book is blue because it reflects the wavelength corresponding to blue color and absorbs most of the rest of the spectrum so a white object is white as it reflects the entire visible spectrum falling on it but then a mirror also reflects the entire visible spectrum then how is a mirror different from a white object why don't we see images in every white object the answer lies in the type of reflection taking place there are two types of reflections diffuse reflection and specular reflection in diffuse reflection the incident ray is reflected in many directions rather than a single direction it happens because of the multiple reflections taking place beneath the surface of the object so when some light finally comes out again from the surface it can come out in any direction the light coming to your eyes is a mix of light falling on the object from different directions and you cannot see an image in such a mixture of rays this is what happens when you see a white sheet of paper but then how do mirrors work this is where specular reflection comes into picture in specular reflection a ray of light from a single incoming direction is reflected in a single outgoing direction this is what happens on very smooth surfaces and mirrors the light rays remain organized image remains intact after reflection and this allows images to be seen if incident rays are parallel then reflected rays are also parallel to make specular reflection possible mirrors have a reflecting coating which is usually aluminum or silver if you still want to know the color of mirror the answer is that it is slightly green this is because most mirrors reflect green light better than other parts of the spectrum and this gives mirrors a slight greenish tinge the mirror in your bathroom might not reply to your questions as in snow white but we know now that it does have some magical physics working under the surface